And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the number one podcast that's canceled in the world. Yeah. Um, so this, show me the original one, what I sent you, the image. So this was uh, someone's idea to, for a morality pill. Okay. So listen to this. All As right. the SARS-CoV-2 virus continues to kill thousands of Americans each week, bioethicist Parker Crutchfield has suggested a controversial approach to battling the pandemic, namely a morality pill. Specifically, he suggests that widespread administration of psychoactive <laughs> drugs could provide, in quotes, moral enhancement that would make people more likely to adhere to social norms, such as wearing masks and adhering to social distancing guidelines. Imagine the idea that you have to give someone a fucking pill, a psychoactive pill that will make them more compliant and make them follow the guidelines of masks and distancing. And what like if the you only could way just to give it to your wife and kids though, wouldn't that make your life easier? You what? know what I mean? Make your wife and kids wear masks and stay yeah, away. Just compliant you? to you. You know what I mean? You don't want that, man. You don't want a compliant wife. That's the last thing. You, Are you, you sure? will be so bored. Are yeah. you sure? Aren't yeah, there times? I'm positive. No, I don't <laughs> want that. I don't. You don't want that. It's the easy way. God, it's so... definitely the easy way, but don't don't do it. You want a, a wife that goes, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Oh, bitch? I got one of those. Good. Congratulations. I got, I got one of those. <laughs> you have buddy. to have one of those. <laughs> if you don't have one of those, you're doomed. It's like if you're a comic and you have a wife that's compliant with everything you say, like, oh. The number of times I try to say a premise and she just goes, "Uh, what the fuck are you talking about?" Ah! It's, it's it's astronomical. That's great. Yeah. Man. That's great. That's important. Yeah. You want that. Is the it? last thing you want is someone just like, "Whatever you say, dear." Oh my God! You go cr you go crazy. You'd be so bored. I don't know, Joe. It sounds tempting. Does it sound good? It sounds tempting. Really? I don't know if it sounds good in the long term, but it sounds tempting. Right, like a little break. A little yeah, break from you know, someone just a little you break. You know, just a little compliance here and there. So they changed that article because so many people were complaining, and uh, Jamie pulled up the new version of it. And the new version of it, look what they say. No, don't use a morality pill to stop the COVID nineteen oh, pandemic. Oh, there you go. So look at this. It says. Uh, authors note, I've updated the headline to more closely state my position as opposed to the position being discussed. Like what, But the position being discussed is what's important. Yeah. The original headline, could a morality pill stop the COVID-19 pandemic? First of all, that's not going to stop a virus that's respiratory, that's transmitted through the air. It's just it's too many opportunities for transmission. It's too contagious. So this is a stupid premise that like masks and distancing, like... When they're talking about like distancing in a room too, I was reading this thing where they're saying like you could, like, viruses can be like sixty feet of of spread. Yeah, I also don't. I understood all this early on. Like we didn't know what we were dealing with. It was super deadly relative to most viruses. Now that we got a vaccine, if you die, you die. I don't. If you don't want to get the vaccine and you die, you didn't want to get the vaccine. You made that There's choice. There's other things you can do. Here's a big one. Monoclonal antibodies, which they've restricted the use of.